The Strange World of Artificial Intelligence Can machines really think? Artificial intelligence or simply AI is one of the fundamental aspects of digitalizing the world we live in. Over the years, AI has developed in numerous forms and has led to improved efficiency in a number of industries related to computing as well as creating modern technologies. AI is keep getting developed and has shown no sign of stopping in the near future. With all these improvements, one of the goals of AI is to develop machines that are able to think on their own. Is that really possible? Let's find out in this video. Welcome to Amazed. This is the place for all who are interested in knowing anything and everything about this world and beyond it. If you're interested don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. What is AI? Artificial intelligence is, to put it in a few words, machines simulating human intelligence. Basically, AI is all about developing smart machines that are capable of performing the tasks that usually require human intelligence. Before everything else, let's get to know a little bit about the history of AI. The talk about artificial intelligence started in the 1940s and 50s when discussions about an artificial brain surfaced. In 1950, Alan Turing released a paper that speculated about creating machines with true intelligence. There, he proposed a method that can be used to determine whether a computer can think, and it was named Turing Test. In the Turing Test, the purpose is to determine if the computer can be verified as intelligent if it is able to mimic the responses from the human under certain conditions. The term artificial intelligence officially came into use at the Dartmouth Conference in 1956 which was attended by 10 of the notable figures in the field including John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, and Oliver Selfridge, some of the pioneering names in AI. John McCarthy is the person who fabricated the term artificial intelligence. Over the decades, AI has been developing at a relentless pace and today, it has come to a significant stage with AI technologies that let you generate images, stories, videos, and many other contents with just a few words explaining what you want. How does AI work? Mostly, AI systems take in labeled training data in great quantity and read and analyze them for recognizing interconnections and patterns of the data. Then, those patterns are used to make predictions. Among the skills that are the basis of AI programming are learning, reasoning, self-correction, and creativity. Basically, AI can be categorized as weak AI and strong AI. Weak AI, also named narrow AI, is the type of artificial intelligence that is created and trained for a particular task, and they're limited to a specific area. Drones, industrial robots, chatbots, and virtual personal assistants like Amazon's Alexa and Apple's Siri are examples of weak AI. Almost all the current AI-related technologies are based on weak AI. Strong AI is a machine that will have consciousness and decision-making abilities just like humans. These machines will be able to act, feel, think, and respond similarly to humans. These machines will pass the Turing test. However, strong AI is only a theoretical concept as of now. You might have seen movies like The Matrix, The Terminator and I, Robot, which represent the concept of strong AI. Well, AI technology hasn't come that far yet, but that certainly wouldn't be a long time away. There are four main types of artificial intelligence. The types are as follows. Reactive machines, limited memory, theory of mind, and self-awareness. Reactive machines are AI systems that don't have a memory and they are trained for one specific task. IBM's AI chess program, Deep Blue, and Netflix's recommendation system are examples of this type of AI. Deep Blue once beat Garry Kasparov in the 1990s. Deep Blue could recognize the pieces of both their own and the opponents on the board and make predictions based on the next moves for both players. But it is unable to learn from past mistakes as it has no memory. Next comes the limited memory AI. These systems have memory and are able to make future decisions based on past experiences. So, it gets more intelligent as more data is available to train on. A good example of limited memory AI is a self-driving car. Those two types are the AI types that currently exist. The other two, 
theory of mind and self-awareness don't exist to provide real-life examples as of yet. In theory, theory of mind is the type of AI that will be able to understand the emotions of the others around them using their social intelligence. They will be able to predict the behavior of other people. Self-awareness on the other hand will be aware of themselves and have a sense of self. As stated, these types of AI don't exist yet and it would be a long time from happening as well because there is much to discover about the human brain too. The real-world applications of AI can be observed in fields like healthcare, education, business, manufacturing, security, transportation, entertainment, and many others. The field of healthcare would be a field that has massive improvements with the use of AI, both patient well-being and cost and vice. In healthcare, machine learning is used to make efficient diagnoses. IBM Watson is one of the AI tools used in healthcare. It has the ability to understand natural language and respond to the questions asked. In business, machine learning algorithms are used for managing and analyzing customer relationships. And the chatbots you find on websites are a good example of this. AI can be used in the field of education as well. AI can be used to automate grading, evaluate students, and used to generate a more suitable space for students to learn. And AI language models like ChatGPT and BARD can be used to generate teaching materials and other uses. AI in transportation is not only used for autonomous vehicles but also for controlling traffic, making shipping on the ocean more efficient, and predicting delays in flights and many other functions. In the manufacturing field, industrial robots are created to perform some tasks. In security too, AI is used in cybersecurity and to identify and alert about threats to the security of a computational or physical system. The entertainment industry can use AI to start from recommending content to advertising target audiences to making entire movies at large. Did you know that the South Korean music industry even has AI idols? Idol group SPA has their other half consisting of AI members built using the information of the real members. Superkind is another K-pop group that has one member who's completely made using AI. And Maeve is a four-member girl group who are completely developed by AI. Artificial intelligence is part of many types of technology. Machine learning, computer vision, robotics, natural language processing, and many other fields. Machine learning is an AI technique that helps machines to learn from experience. There are three types of machine learning algorithms supervised learning in which the data sets used for processing are labeled, unsupervised learning in which there are unlabeled data sets that get sorted in accord with similarities or differences, and reinforcement learning which also uses unlabeled data sets but upon several actions performed on the data set, feedback is given. Natural Language Processing or NLP in short is the technology of computer programs processing human languages. It has come a long way from spam detection to large language models like ChatGPT. Tasks of NLP include speech recognition, translating texts, and analyzing the sentiment. Robotics is a field of AI that can't be forgotten. Robots are used to perform tasks that can't be or are difficult to perform for humans. From assembly lines of vehicles to space, moving large objects, AI is part of these processes. A mecha, created by Engineered Arts in 2021, is the most advanced and realistic humanoid robot in the world. It has the ability to make a number of facial expressions like scrunching nose and winking as well as being more lifelike than any other robot. Programming languages like Python, Java, C, R, and TensorFlow are some of the languages that are used to build AI models. To train and run the model's GPUs, parallel processing tools like Spark and Cloud Storage are used. Apart from all the content discussed about it, AI has a number of advantages. AI is excellent at detail-oriented activities like diagnosing some diseases. With AI, time spent on certain tasks can be reduced and productivity is increased. You can use it to improve customer satisfaction as well because AI-powered agents are accessible at any time needed. While AI is vast with its advantages, that doesn't mean there are no downsides to AI. AI is simply quite expensive. 
Even though some technologies like ChatGPT and some other AI tools start as free versions, their better features are only accessible via paid versions. And building these technologies requires expertise in the field. And at large, with AI replacing human workers, unemployment rates are increasing. That's all for this video. If you watch carefully, you already have the answer to the question at the beginning. Machines can't really think. Yet. Thank you for watching.